the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at inserting another type of object into our spreadsheets, and that is inserting shapes and also inserting text boxes, because these two things kind of work hand in hand. Now, if we jump up to the insert ribbon, again in the illustrations group, notice that we have a shapes drop down, which is going to open up the shapes gallery. And all of the shapes in Excel are divided down into different categories. You're going to see your most recently used shapes at the top for quick access. And then we have lines, rectangles, basic shapes, arrows, all different kinds of things. It really depends what shape it is that you're looking to add to your spreadsheet. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to use some shapes. And in those shapes, we're going to link through to the quarter totals in this sales worksheet. So if we take a look here, you can see I've got some subtotals applied. And at the bottom of each quarter, I can see the total amount of sales for each quarter. And I basically want to put these totals in shapes on the summary worksheet. Now on this summary worksheet, I've already inserted a nice little chart which shows me the different totals for the quarter. But we want to jazz this up a bit and make it super clear. Now, before we get on to adding shapes, I just want to show you how to utilize one of the other pictures that we didn't actually look at in the last lesson, and that is cut out images. So if we go to stock images, if you recall, we have different categories running across the top, and one of those is cut out people. Now, I'm going to use one of these cut out people in this summary worksheet just to liven it up a little bit. So if I scroll down, let's take a look at what we have in here. And I think I'm going to use this cutout image just here. So let's select it and click on insert. It's going to download that image and I can then move her over here. So I'm going to make her a bit smaller just by dragging in that resize handle. And I can place her just there to add a little bit of interest to my data. So now that we have our cutout image, let's add in our shapes. So up to insert into the shapes drop down. And I want a rectangle, but I think I'm going to have a rounded corner rectangle. Let's select and let's draw our first rectangle. Now the fill color and the outline color and width that you get when you draw a shape really depends on what your default setting is. So I set this format as the default in the last project I was working on. And in order to set a default fill color and outline color, all you need to do is draw a shape using the shape format tab, select your shape fill and your shape outline and even any effects that you'd like to add. And then you can right click and from the menu set as default shape. And that just ensures that every time you draw a shape, it's going to have those formatting properties. Now, I actually don't want mine to have this fill color, so let's go up here and change it. So we're going to do a dark green and we're going to do a light green outline. And if you want to change the outline, if you click the drop down just here at the bottom, you can choose the weight. So essentially the thickness of that outline if it's sketched. And you can also choose if you want a solid line, a dotted line, a dash line, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Let's just drag that in because I want to have four of these shapes running across the top. Now the easiest way to copy a shape is simply to duplicate it. And the shortcut key to duplicate is Control D. I'm going to do that two more times. Control D, Control D. And now I have four shapes that all have the same formatting. Now I'm going to roughly align these, something like that. And I want to make sure that these are all aligned perfectly. And this is where we use our alignment tools. So what I can do here is select all of the shapes, click on the first one, hold down shift, click the next one, keep shift held down and click on the others. Now with all of these selected, if we jump up to the shape format tab, notice in the arrange group, we have some alignment options. So I want to align all of these to the middle of each other. And I want to ensure that I have equal distance in between each shape. So back to align and we're going to say distribute 
horizontally. That's going to ensure that my shapes are aligned with each other and I have even spacing in between. Now, maybe I want to adjust the position of these as a group. I don't want to move them individually. What I can do is group my shapes. Now, again, in the arrange group, we have a group option just here. So let's select it and that effectively makes them one big object. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys just to nudge these along so that the last shape is in line with the edge of the chart below. And it's just minor little adjustments that you can make here which make all the difference. Now to ungroup the shapes so that I can format them, add things to them individually, you can jump back up to group and select ungroup. Now what I'm going to do here is from within each of these shapes, I'm going to link to the quarter totals that we have on the sales worksheet. So this is a nice little trick. If you click on the first shape, put your mouse up into the formula bar and press equals, we're simply going to link to the cell. So we did this before, but the only difference here is that we're using a shape. Let's jump across to sales and select cell. E23 and hit enter. Now we're going to format this in a moment, but let's just do the same for these others. Equals sales worksheet. This time we want the total for quarter two, E43. The next one up to the formula bar equals. Let's go to quarter three. And then finally, up in the formula bar, equals, and this time we want quarter four, and hit enter. So now I have all of these values in these shapes, I need to apply some formatting. So I'm going to select all of my shapes by holding down my shift key, go to the home ribbon, I'm going to make this a little bit larger, I'm going to change the font color to white, I'm going to align to the bottom vertically and to the middle horizontally. So now that I have those, I just want to add some labels above that say quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And for this, I'm going to use a text box. So up to the insert ribbon again, and all the way over on the end here, we have a text group, and I'm going to choose text box. The text box is just a rectangle that you can draw, which will allow you to add text into any part of your spreadsheet. So if I draw my little text box just here, my cursor flashes in the middle and I can type in quarter one. And notice that this text box by default has an outline and a white fill background. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove both of those. So up to shape format, I'm going to say that I don't want an outline, and I also don't want a background fill. And then I'm going to go to home and we're going to modify this text. So again, let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it white because when I drag it over here, you can see that that looks pretty good. Now I could go through and do exactly the same process for these other ones. I'm going to duplicate because it's much quicker. Control D, let's drag it over. And then to modify, we can just click in the text box and change it to quarter two. Let's do the same for quarter three. And then finally, we want to do the same for quarter four. So very quickly there, just using some basic shapes, some formatting, some alignment tools, and a little bit of linking, we've managed to create a really effective looking summary sales worksheet. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.